Y'all ready for this? Hey there everyone and welcome back to Acrylic and Ether. This is Ozzy right now from the Ether system and today I'm going to be doing some Far Eastern war pain. And the Far East is a region in our inner world and that's where, where I live, where I live with my family and it's got some really rich culture and it's pretty cool. And our war paint design is really great and I wanted to share that with you today and then talk more about it once I'm all painted up. So let's get to it. This is the worst time for my nose to be running. Oh my lord. <laughs> so this here is the Far Eastern War Paint and my camera is not liking it so I'm gonna have to sit a little farther back. The further back I get the more like a skull I look and I think that's pretty cool. So for this makeup that we made this is <laughs> the most jankiest stuff ever. You're probably looking at it like what the hell is that? But this here is some of that old face paint you know you get those like grease crayons they're kind of nasty. You you do those just tiny little face paint drawings with them. So we chopped one of those up, kind of. We took about half of it in here, put it in with some eyeshadow and some coconut oil, and it just spreads really nicely, as you saw. In the inner world, we usually have paint that works like that. It's really, like, it just goes on really well. It's like lip gloss consistency, almost. You just have it in a little container, take some out and put it on your face before you go out to battle, and it's just really quick and easy and really fun. 
really festive, really like cultural. So I am from the Far East. That's where my whole family lives. But it's not like the South at all. <laughs> we don't even have trees or much grass there. It's the ocean. The Far East is like cliffs and ocean. I spend my times on a ship out in the ocean, and that's where I exist pretty much. So what I do personally, it's think of it like Pirate Robin Hood, I guess. They're those hostile pirates that'll come and attack you. They'll just come at your ship like nobody's business. You're just floating around like a good old dude, chilling out in the ocean. These jerks will come up and try to steal all the gold and riches you've gathered and add it to their own collections on their ships. And that ain't gonna fly. So of course, we're very battle ready as always. This whole system is always kind of like ready to fight, especially in the inner world because we're just basically a bunch of fighty gay dragons. Yeah, I should probably add that. I'm mostly, I have more dragon-like qualities than a lot of other people in the system. I have those slitted eyes, teeth, but then I have horns that come out of the back of my head, kind of like that, and fins. And then on my ears, they're pointed but they have fins on the lower side, so I'm kind of a mix of everything. I'm kind of like if people took traits from stereotypes, cowboy, pirate, dragon, Robin Hood, because I take enemy pirates gold and put it back into local communities. So I'm a little bit of everything. The Far East is known to be the weird ones of the system. We've got Alan over there who's completely into conspiracy theories and he draws up these big old charts and these breakdowns of like conspiracies and government secrets because he's just way into that. And then we've got Lazarus who's kind of like the strong, serious type, but he's built like a linebacker, which is really weird. Most of us in this system are kind of like lean, muscular, kind of regular, average body shape, but Lazarus is ripped. <laughs> And then we've got Klausus, who's got like a blue mohawk, and he's pretty cool. He's, he's my brother. The dialect from the Far East, our Aetherian dialect, is more harder on the consonants, like the K's and the S's and the R's, especially the K's. It kind of clicks. You make clicky sounds because you have to kind of compete with the sounds of the ocean to be heard. So that's why ours sounds different is because we're ocean dragons over there. It's kind of funny. If you look at the structure of the Far East, it's a triangle. It's like two triangles. I'll, I'll stick in a picture right here. It's got the bay, which is shaped like a triangle, and then this landmass, which looks like it was just cut out and moved. It's like two triangles. I don't know why it looks like that. It just does. It's probably some secret with our subconscious, but we'll just figure that out later. And for the moment, can we just like check out how cool the eyeshadow makes this look? So we took like three different blues and kind of like put it all together and it looks like shimmery. The camera really hates it, but I still think it looks really cool. So yeah, in the Far East, obviously our color is blue and silver. I mean, the silver is not as obvious because it's not in my face, but it's got that silver glimmer to it. So that kind of counts for something. We're definitely big on blues here. Like this, this is our color. The blue that we primarily use in the Far East is the same as Hollow's favorite blue. And I think that's really sweet because it shows that he thinks the colors of the Far East are really safe and just surrounds himself with it and I think that's the sweetest thing in the world. But then we have Rift, who is, he was actually born and raised in the Far West, so that's way across an ocean and a continent. And he moved in with the Far East because he just fits in better and Hollow basically looks up to him like an older brother or a guardian, so he's kind of stuck there. So a little bit more about the Far East is yeah, we are known as the weirdos of the system, but it's mostly because we're kind of reclusive. We don't like to get all in other people's business very much, especially with the East. You may think that we're the Far East, that we're connected well with the East, but that's actually the complete opposite. It's like red versus blue here. Anything red, we're just like repelled from. Because in the past, the East has done some pretty weird stuff. They were trying to take over like the whole inner world, and it turned out to be this whole thing that required a whole like rebellion act, and there was fireworks which turned out to be like aerial incendiary devices and it was a real mess and Farkas has got a burn scar that goes up across his whole back and wing and it looks terrible. So we have a very colorful past with the east and the rest of the system. The west and the far west are our two closest allies I guess but Sujin has been trying to make amends I guess. 
because he's now in control of the East when it used to be Farkas, and Farkas was an ass. <laughs> So when he took over, he started trying to make amends with everybody, like giving out gifts and kind of peace treaties and trying to pay them back for all the damages. And I can really appreciate that, you know? But if it was still Farkas running it, I would not be about that at all. We're willing to forgive and forget and everything, you know? It's, it's time to be progressive and healthier than holding grudges like we used to. So I think we might be able to patch things up with the East in the future, and I'm really hoping that we can do that. And now, just a little bit about me. I'm the only one with a Southern accent. <laughs> My system role is kind of like a guardian protector, kind of taking care of more vulnerable or damaged altars, kind of taking them away from everything else, because I've got a ship that can fly. <laughs> yes, my boat can fly. It's like a giant sail ship, but it has engines that come out of the back. And it's got flotation devices as well, so it can raise up and then just fly through the air like Peter Pan or something. <laughs> but yeah, I've already helped some of the altars in this system. Like, we had this one that we never talk about because apparently her role was just awful and we couldn't even consider this. Her name is Darby and she's an age slider. And she goes from about, uh, 3 to 17. And she was like a lot of repressed sexuality. And it made us uncomfortable that she was an age slider and would just be like saying dirty things when she was young and everyone was like, don't do that. <laughs> and so that's where I came in and kind of took her away from the system on my ship out into the ocean and we just kind of relaxed. I got her away from all the bad things. We talked through stuff. And now we're able to work together and get through things that are bothering us all. And it's gotten a lot more peaceful in the inner world. I think we're becoming more healthy and... The Far East not holding grudges is definitely going to be a step to that recovery. So here's just starting a new chapter with all of us here. The inner world is about to kind of level up here. We're going to be doing a lot of more working together, kind of as a collective whole. And I think that's going to start with the Far East not being as reclusive, and that'll be good. Anyway, thank you all for watching, and thank you for dealing with my uh, kind of fluctuating accent today. I know it sounds like I'm acting and doing bad at it, but I'm not faking. It's kind of a thing with our system since we're something called covert, and that means we're trying to be like stealth alters and trying to blend in with everyday life. And we've got two friends out in the living room just chatting and hanging out with Thick Boy and everything, so I'm just trying to like be normal. And it's hard to do that, and it kind of sucks. But you gotta do what you gotta do when you're an alter. And we're going to be getting more in-depth into overt and covert DID. So keep an eye out if you're interested in that. Because I feel like people need to talk about that topic more. And that's what we do here. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you all for being goblins. If you're not a goblin, all you got to do is hit that subscribe button right down there. And you'll be part of the hashtag gob squad. So if you enjoyed, please subscribe. Please like, do whatever you want. Ask us questions about covert DID or anything you want down in the comments. And now I'm going to go wash my face and head over to the Amplexus Systems channel. We're going to film a video together and it's going to be great. Check it out. See you later, guys.